All right, guys. Today's course will be a little different because I'm not allowed to share much due to YouTube policies. However, I believe most of you will understand how to use what you learn here today to make some extra money online, or even thousands, just like many others who are doing it. Now today you will learn how to create identical character designs from anime with the exact facial and body characteristics in different poses and outfits. So far, the free AI image generators that everyone keeps recycling in their videos can't do the job. However, there are sites that only a few know about, and almost no one talks about that can actually create anything, and I mean anything. You'll also learn how people sell these designs on two different sites, one of which I will hint little by little throughout the video, just to align with YouTube policies. So stick around until the end to find out how people in their early 20s are creating identical anime characters without any drawing skills, and are earning thousands in commissions using AI. Now, before I show you the site, I want to run a little test with you, with six pictures. I need you to look at them and write down which one is real and which one is AI. Can you tell the difference? Let's begin. Alright, so this picture is AI generated. This one is AI generated as well. This one is AI generated once again. This one is real. This one is AI generated. And the last one is real. How many of these did you get right? Write me down in the comments. Also let me know if you want me to show you in a next video how to generate such realistic pictures. Alright, so the site we are going to be using today is called Tensor Art. And to use it, you just sign in with an email. After you log in, you will be greeted with this page. Now, Tensor Art offers a lot of options besides AI image generation, such as comfy workflow, model hosting, which you can make money with, as well as online model training, with which you can train your own LoRa's. For today, we will focus on AI image generation, though. To start generating, just press the Create button. In here, let's talk about the spaces. Here, we have the Prompt section, where we can prompt for the image we want to generate. Down here, we have the negative prompt that I suggest you copy and paste mine to generate higher quality images. Now before I show you the way to generate consistent anime characters, I want to first show you some other amazing models that might interest you. So for now, I need you to scroll down a bit, and you'll see that our basic model is, by default, the Stable Diffusion XL. Click on it, and instead of that, use the Stable Diffusion 3 Medium. Now, TensorArt is the first platform globally to deploy and support SD3 with which you can generate amazing pictures if you know how to use it. So, keep scrolling down. And here, set the aspect ratio to 2 to 3 for now. For the sampling method, choose Euler A, and leave the sampling steps in CFG scale as they are. Enable the upscale button below and set it to 1x, which is the one you can use in the free plan. In the pro plan, you can upscale 4x, but that's something we will talk about later. From the upscalers, choose the RESRGAN 4x+, and lastly, set the image quantity to 2. Now, SD3 Medium is a model that heavily relies on text, which means the more detailed prompt you give it, the better the results it will generate. For that reason, if you want, for example, to create a picture of a man, I suggest you first go to Perplexity AI and ask it to give you prompts, especially for SD3, as I did here. Then, scroll down, and from the prompt results it gave you back, choose one you like and copy-paste it on TensorArt. For now, Let's try this one together. Back in TensorArt, we now have the prompt that Perplexity provided ready to go. So let's hit Generate and see what we get. Alright, the first image here looks pretty good, but the second has some issues. Now, this is AI, and the more you generate, the better the results will be, obviously. But I will not cherry-pick here. Instead, let's try a portrait of a woman this time, using the same Perplexity method. All right, I now have another prompt from Perplexity for a woman this time to test here. So, let's generate. All right, once again, from what I see, the first image looks amazing, but the second one still has some issues. Let's move on though with a prompt for an animal this time to see what we get. To save you time, here are some prompts I used and the great results that SD3 produced. I should also mention that SD3 can generate text, as you will see in the cat image.
Okay, enough with SD3. Now, using the same settings, let me introduce you to another interesting model that is more forgiving and simpler with prompts. Please click on SD3, and this time choose the model called Hun Yuan Dit. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Now, in the negative prompt, add the one I have here, and you can pretty much brainstorm and create anything. Your imagination is the only limit here, so have fun experimenting. Let's try something weird together. A cat in a football uniform kicking a soccer ball. Dynamic view. I really like the first image here, and I love how the cat swings its paw back like a football player when they shoot to gain momentum. Let's try something else. A dog wearing an astronaut uniform is reading a book while floating in space. Again, the first image looks amazing, and I love the confused expression on the dog's face, as if he is questioning my prompts. All right, you get the point. Now, let's continue to the part that many of you, especially in Discord, have asked me about. How to create consistent anime characters with different outfits in various poses. Let me show you. For example, to create Jinx from the famous Netflix series Arcane, you would need to change your model to the one called Cartoon Pony. Most pony models are powerful enough to create anything related to anime with the correct Loras without any limits. But my two favorites are Pony Diffusion V6XL and Cartoon Pony. In this case, we will use Cartoon Pony. Now, since we are creating anime this time, we need to make some changes. First, I need you to change the aspect ratio to 1 to 1, and then set the CFG scale to 6 to provide more creative freedom to the model. After that, choose the 1x upscaler again, but this time select the version called 4x Anime Sharp and leave everything else as it is. Remember how I mentioned Loras? Loras are essentially models trained on specific characters. By adding them to the composition and typing their name in the prompt, they help you achieve the desired character. To create Jinx from the Arcane series, I need her Laura. To find it, simply press the Add Laura button here, search for Arcane Style, click on it, and add it to the composition. Now, you can leave the Laura value at 0.8, but I prefer to reduce it to 0.6. Before prompting for the picture you want to generate, you need to first add these score prompts I have here to achieve better results. After that, you are free to prompt for whatever you want to see. Let's try an example together. Let's change Jinx's custom outfit and prompt for her to wear a hoodie instead. For example, let's prompt for Jinx wearing a gray hoodie is chilling at her room, front view, and hit generate. The results are amazing, and as expected, it did an excellent job of staying true to our prompt while ensuring character consistency. Let's try a different character now. Let's go with Nami from One Piece. Once again, we need her Laura. Change the arcane Laura, search for Nami, and add it to the composition as shown. All right, let's leave the value at 0.8 this time and prompt for Nami, wearing a black leather jacket is chilling at a bar, front view. As you can see, the results are amazing. Once again, the model stayed true to our prompt, changed the outfit, and ensured character consistency. I believe you get the point. If there is a Laura of an anime character on the site, then with pony models, you can prompt for anything without restrictions and achieve amazing results. Now, unless you are living under a rock, you can understand how people are using this to their advantage and what designs they are actually creating to make money. I will discuss how they market their designs and which sites they are using to get paid later in the video. For now, let's talk about credits. You noticed how many designs we created for free? That's because TensorArt offers 100 free daily credits to its users. If those aren't enough for you and you are determined to start producing designs in bulk, then you can check out TensorArt's pro plans here and the privileges they offer. As an AI expert, I'm teaching you AI tools that no one else is going to teach you on YouTube, along with proven methods that you can see in my videos, showcasing how I managed to make money with many of them and even became a Netflix partner through my AI designs. For that reason, if you want to surpass others in the AI field, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. So where do these people upload their designs and accept commissions? You will find out by filling out the quiz I'm about to show you on the screen, either by asking Perplexity or ChatGPT, which I will link in the description. So, pay attention to the following picture I'm about to show you. As for where they make their passive income, they simply start a Patreon page, which is free to set up. By gaining subscribers through marketing on the previous site and tagging their Patreon name in the posts they upload there, they achieve two goals with one stone. This means they not only receive commissions, but also attract patrons who are willing to subscribe to their Patreon to unlock exclusive content.